Hello everyone out there in YouTube land, this is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center. You can find us online at alamomusic.com and today we have some step up ukuleles for you. So it's summertime, ukuleles have been increasingly popular and if you have ventured into the ukulele world by getting yourself maybe a beginner ukulele, something inexpensive like a Kala Waterman which we reviewed, those are fantastic little ooks, but you want to move up to something else, we've got the next step for you. So we're going to be running down some five ukuleles for you, the intermediate player, or someone who's wanting something that's the next step up from beginner. All right, so without further ado, we're going to jump into these island Hawaiian uh, instruments of joy because they are happy little instruments and uh, help you pick out the best to suit your needs. Check it out. So the first one here is from Fender, and I know Fender's not typically the first instrument you would think of or brand for ukuleles, but they're making some really, really cool, unique, different ukuleles, and this is one of my favorites. This is the Nohea Tenor Koa Ukulele from Fender. Nohea is Hawaiian for beautiful, and this little thing is beautiful. It features a koa body, koa top, back and sides, uh, abalone rosette, abalone border, rosewood, uh, fingerboard and bridge with bone, nut, and saddle. One of the cool features about this is up here at the top, the headstock's actually like a little Telecaster. So it's got the island, uh, you know, vibe along with some of the rock and roll vibe going along with it, and inside a hula girl on a sticker. So, you know, how much more beach can you get? Um, really, really great sound on these, and it comes with a nice gig bag. Being that it's a tenor, it's a little bit larger body, and so it's going to give you a little bit of a fuller sound to it, uh, but it's not as big as some tenors out there on the market. I'd actually kind of call this like a, uh, a 10 concert, concert tenor. How can we blend those together? Um, but great little tone, very cool look, um, different, surfy. I like it. I dig it. So let's check it out. It's got a cool tone. All right, so now we're moving down in size a little bit, but up in price. The Fender that we looked at goes for $249.99. Next step up for $20 more is the Cordoba. This is the 25SK, it's a soprano ukulele. It features solid acacia top, solid acacia back, laminate acacia uh, sides, this nice kind of herringbone rope style binding, gold tuners, and a carved Cordoba uh, inlay on the headstock. It also comes with a gig bag. So for $269, you get a lot of value. First of all, it's Cordoba. And what we know about Cordoba, and what we've talked about in a lot of these videos, is that they know how to make a very light, uh, lightly built, very resonant instrument, and that's no different here. You also get solid top and back in acacia wood. Now, acacia is a cousin of koa. koa. Koa is a Hawaiian tree that is traditionally used in the construction of Hawaiian ukuleles. And so this is very much in that traditional vein. It's also hearkening back to the rope-bound uh, Hawaiian uh, koa ukuleles of yesteryear that are very, very traditional, but very, very expensive. And so this is your soprano ukulele that's got a cousin of the wood that's kind of got that look, but isn't going to break your budget and has a great tone. So if you're looking for something that projects really well and is really resonant in a small soprano size, so you get that nice kind of um, higher octave timber, then uh, this is a great model to look at. So let's check it out. This is the Cordoba 25SK soprano ukulele.
what's cool, blending Hawaiian ukuleles with jazz music. And that's kind of what Kala has done here with their arch top. This is the K-A-J T-E-2 T-S. This is basically a tenor ukulele. It's an arch top with a pickup system. So you've got volume and control here, um, a little battery. It's a shadow pickup, which is really cool. It's got a sunburst arch top look, very classic design, jazzy F holes on it, tobacco sunburst, it's giving you a vintage look, offset with this nice uh, pearloid binding on the body and up the neck, and nice closed tuners here. It's a great instrument for $299, so right at the $300 mark. Now it's a tenor, so like the Fender we looked at initially, it's going to have a bit of a deeper resonance to it because of the larger body. Now you might think because it's an arch top with the F-holes, you might get less volume out of it, but that's not the case. It actually projects really, really well and has a wonderful tone to it, and it's something unique and different. So when everyone else is at the beach with their kind of traditional ukuleles, you can show up and jazz it up a bit. So very, very cool guitar. Let's check out, or ukulele rather, Let's Let's check out what it sounds like. Next up we have the Martin OX Soprano Ukulele. Now this goes for about $379 and Martin should be no stranger to these videos. They make fantastic guitars. They are one of the premier guitar manufacturers in the world. They have gone on to design much of what we consider to be a steel string guitar. But if we take you know kind of the time warp ship back to the time of the Great Depression, ukuleles largely helped Martin stay in business during a very difficult time in our nation's history. So embracing the Hawaiian instrument, Martin was able to manufacture ukuleles uh, of mahogany and koa and all sorts of things, and those have become prized instruments. In our modern context, they have taken that know-how and expertise of building like very lightly built, well-projecting uh, resonant instruments and brought it into a price point that's affordable for the average ukulele player. So for $379.99, this soprano ukulele is available in a variety of colors. Now, the one I'm holding right now is their bamboo laminate body. Um, it comes in uh, green, it comes in red, bl uh, blue, bamboo pattern. So anything to suit your mood. Um, if you don't know what your mood is or you um, have a lot of different moods, you can get one in each color. Also comes with a gig bag. Now, I will give you... Um, just some advice, if you're shopping for ukuleles and you see something like this with these tuners, this is very traditional. Um, this is kind of a banjo style tuner, but it's a one to one ratio. So what that means is there's no gear to offset how many turns like we saw on the other ones. So they can be a little finicky. Um, you, you don't move it much to get it into tune. And if you ever find that it's slipping, that means that it needs to be tightened. Uh, but this is traditional and they're also lighter weight. So that's a benefit of having this style of tuner. Um, and you can also change tunings really quick because while we've got all of these tuned up in kind of a standard tuning there's a lot of tunings out there for ukulele that allows you to be very flexible and you know you could set it up in in a shredding shred ukulele shred ukulele uh, pick a, or tuning or whatever you want to do but um, Keep a lookout for those and kind of understand what they are so you don't break any strings. All right, so check out what this great little ukulele sounds like.
last, but certainly not least on our list, topping out the price point is this ukulele from Martin. It's the C1K Concert Ukulele. It sells for about $509 and includes a gig bag with it. Now what's fantastic about this is that it is solid Hawaiian koa top, back, and sides. Now again, uh, Hawaiian koa is Hawaiian. It's very rare. It only grows on the big island above, about, I think, about 500 feet. It's protected species. It's not endangered, but it is native only to that uh, island. And so it's very rare when that wood becomes available and it's prized for its tonal qualities in a stringed instrument. So when you can get it in this price point in an ukulele, it's really a fantastic bargain. Now this uh, is very stripped down and really it kind of goes back to those classic depression era Martin ukuleles that we talked about, which were very stripped down, very simple instruments that focused on the primary playability and tone of the instrument rather than maybe the ornate character of the instrument. It's finished in a satin finish, it's got a dovetail neck joint on it, and it's really kind of a beautiful example of why Martin Guitars is a premier name in the ukulele business. Um, it does have geared open back tuners on the back and side, gold foil, headstock logo, and just beautiful Hawaiian koa. Now with that solid wood construction, it has a fantastic tone. I want to show it to you now. Let's check it out. So we hope you liked our review of these step-up models of ukuleles. If you'd like to see some specific ukuleles, comment below so we can do a review on those and tell us, uh, we'll tell you what we think and you can tell us what you think. Um, out of the bunch, I really like this one. It is the loudest of the bunch by far, but it's also the most expensive. In truth, any of these would be a fantastic step-up instrument if you have started with, uh, with an ukulele and want to further your uh, ukulele playing career this summer. So if you have any questions, comment, come in and see us, give us a call or go on our website, alamomusic.com, so we can help put an ukulele in your hot little hands today. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Shred ukulele.